Welcome back to Pink Turtle Soaps. For today's video, I'm making another Easter soap. This will be the second of two that I'm making. And it is a chocolate scent. I'm going with sort of like a chocolate bunny theme. The soap's gonna have some really adorable little bunny embeds, so you'll see all that later on in the video. The fragrance that I chose to use for this soap is Hot Fudge Brownie, and oh my goodness, it smells so good. I don't think that I have smelled a fragrance so close to what it's inspired by. I mean, you smell it, and it smells like a real piece of, you know, hot fudge brownie in front of your face. So to begin, I have my oils melted at about 83 degrees, and in this container I have my lime water, and it's sitting at about 77, so they're pretty close to one another. So I'm just going to pour the lime water into the oils and blend it together. I'm not going to blend it too long, but I just want to make sure that all of it is nice and blended together. Make sure that there's no sitting oils on top. Now that I have everything nice and blended, I'm going to pour off just a very, very small amount into a separate container here. All right, so the plan for this smaller one, I'm actually going to color it with pink vibrance, but I'm not adding any fragrance oil because it does discolor. So I don't want this paint to be affected and then turn sort of like a weird brown color. So it's gonna remain unscented. I'm going to add just a little bit of that in there. And into this larger one, I'm adding mocha brown, which if you have watched my channel for a while, you know that this is my favorite brown. Okay, so I'm going to use my stick blender and I'm going to blend these up starting with the pink. So now I'm just going to scrape down the sides as I usually do because sometimes colorant likes to stick on the side of the container and then whenever you go to pour you've got chunks of unmixed colorant and that's never good. I did mix this pink a lot longer than I normally would but because it won't have any fragrance oil I'm not really worried about it thickening up too fast but I did want it to thicken up a little bit because if it's too fluid it's going to swirl around with this brown too much, and I don't want that to happen. I do want the pink to stay pretty concentrated. I don't want for the brown to overpower the pink, and then you hardly see it whenever you cut the bar. And do the same thing with this brown. Get some of the soap down in there and mix that in. Maybe you can see why. This is my absolute favorite brown. Um, and I got both of these colorants from Nurture Soap. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check any of those out for yourself highly recommend it especially if you're going for a chocolate soap definitely the closest thing to chocolate in my opinion that looks very realistic so now i'm going to add the fragrance oil to only the brown like i said it does this color you're not going to notice it with this dark of a color but in the in the pink you would definitely see it it would probably not look very good so again that's why i'm leaving that um, unscented. Let's see if this rices or if it blends in. And it's blending in just fine, which is awesome. Like I said, this fragrance, it's insane how real it smells. When I first smelled it in the bottle, I was honestly shocked because <laughs> it smelled just like a real fudge brownie. And it's insane because it's like you can even smell the icing on the top. Hmm, it's so good. Definitely happy that I chose to go with this one. There were a few other chocolate fragrances to pick from, but I really wanted to go with this one. Plus the reviews on it were stellar and now I know why. All right, so we have our mold. I'm gonna start pouring in the brown because the majority of this loaf is going to be brown. Pour about half in there. Then I'm gonna come in with the pink. Go down each side and then down the middle. Come back in with the brown. Pour almost all of it. And then I'm going to come back in with the pink. Alrighty, so that whole process went very fast. 
So I'm going to scoot this over. It's still way too fluid to try to pipe on top of. So I'm going to let this set, let it firm up. And then when we come back, I will show you the embeds that are going to go on top of the piping. So here are the little embeds that are going to go on top. Each bar is going to get one little chocolate bunny that I hand painted with some mica. And I use mocha brown to color these, of course. But these are made of soap. And every bar is going to get one. And I'm also going to do a pink paint splatter on top, which is going to be really cool. But I'll go ahead and fast forward through the piping part. And then I'll show you the paint splatter. Alright, so I'm actually bringing you in a little bit closer so that you can see these rabbits. They're kind of hard to see because they lay so close together. And here's an up close look at the paint splatter. I used the same pink that I used inside the soap. I also added some silver biodegradable glitter because why not? And that's it. Now I've just got to clean up my paint splatter mess, which is all over the table. I'm going to let this sit for about 24 hours, and then when we come back, we'll cut it up and check out the swirls. I'm so excited for this one. We're back the next day to cut up this chocolatey soap. Since I made this soap, my whole office has smelled like chocolate. The chocolate notes are definitely getting stronger, and I still smell the icing more than anything, like a chocolate icing note. I'll go ahead and cut off this first bar. And that's what the inside looks like. The further into the loaf, we'll probably start seeing better swirls. And maybe, there you go, you can see that little chocolate bunny just peeping out of the piping there. Let's do another one. That one has a little bit more pink. And a little bunny playing peekaboo there on this side. And there's the paint splatter. And this looks a little bit more purple than inside, but it is the same pink. You, the colors change a little bit depending on how you use them. You know, when you put them in cold process, they do tend to change a little bit. But those two pinks are the same color. And maybe you can see that glitter there too. Can't have an Easter soap without glitter. That would just be nonsense. Check out this last one. This is definitely making me want to go out and buy a big chocolate bunny and eat it all by myself. Let's go ahead and... Cut up the rest of this loaf.
you'd like to grab yourself a bar, these will be available at PinkTurtleSoaps.com on April 1st at 8 a.m. This will be available along with the other Easter soaps, so you'll be able to grab both and add them to any little Easter basket you may be putting together. It's a wonderful alternative to all that candy that you see this time of year. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because I upload a new soap making video every single Wednesday, so there's always something new coming around. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.